middle of nowhere. Powering oil and gas production platforms and warships of 30 world navies. In air, at sea, and even for those machines that aren't sure where they are, a jet engine can provide clean power for almost any situation. And often variants of the same engine can be used in many different applications. Concorde is powered by four Olympus engines, turbojets with reheat. A marine version of the Olympus engine is used on destroyers in the Royal Navy and on aircraft carriers. The Gnome, a turboshaft, powers both this small hovercraft and many larger helicopters. In fact, the jet is invaluable wherever an efficient and very powerful engine is needed. The turbofan RB211 serves not only many industrial applications, but also the massive Boeing 747 jumbo jet. The largest and most powerful commercial engine today is the Trent. Its size and power is something most people find hard to believe, even when close to it. An engine like the Trent supplies enough power to heat a fair-sized tower. It is precision built from specialist materials, many unknown before the space age. And yet the principle behind it is quite straightforward. The engine takes in air and pushes it out backwards, thus setting up a jet reaction to push itself forwards. The principle of how a jet engine works, suck, squeeze, bang, blow. That's simplicity itself. But making these engines work, translating principles into practice, and ideas into metal. That's the hard part. And that's another story.